Hi everyone, welcome to another Married to Reselling video. I am Simon. I'm Faye. And together we are a UK reselling couple selling on Amazon and eBay. We buy from car boot sales sometimes, uh, auctions and charity shops mainly. Yeah. And this is our weekly video where we kind of show you a bit of a week in the life, a few bits going on this week, but we always usually start with a picking video yeah, picking, sir. Uh, we sold on. We sold on multiple platforms. So Simon's just said we sell on eBay and Amazon. That they're our main platforms, but we also sell on Etsy, Depop, and Vinted. Um, and we have sold on all of them and you sold some personal stuff on your personal ebay as well yeah so yeah. um yeah it's really exciting so yeah. at this point yeah at this point <laughs> um Faye usually grabs the camera points it at me and uh gets Away me to go. try and find things yeah uh, we've cleared out a whole lot of stock because we did the car boot sale which uh you may have seen that video but all the pallet stock is now in one tub and the tub's not even full uh, and we had like 13, 16 tubs 16 when we tubs, started. Yeah. So here we go. Cool. Right, I think we'll go with the Etsy sale first. It's Valter glass oh, baskets, yeah. two of them. They cost £8 for the two and sold on Etsy for £26.99. And they're going to someone in the UK. It's not an international one. Um, <clears throat> recently, recently moved everything, so i got to find stuff. I think it's in here. What is it? Bowls? Sort of baskets, but they look like bowls to you. But, <laughs> they're not um, boxed, are they? I don't think so. There's two of them. They might be stacked inside each other, or they could be next to each other. Oh, yeah. Here we are. They're glass with plastic handles. Oh, yes. I remember. It's quite collectible, isn't it? The old Valter glass. Valter glass. Calling it. Yeah, listed those in April. And they were cross-listed to Etsy via zip sale, so that's good. It works well for us. Beautiful. Then we have two vintage sales. We have a Lacoste jumper, which is in tops L for Lacoste. Do my alphabet. It's stripy knit. It's a knitted jumper. There it is. Yep. Yeah. We got this in July. It's sold in July. We paid three fifty. Is that someone at our door? Someone's at our door. Oh my god! Where were we? We were talking about the Lacoste knitted jumper. Sold for twenty six ninety nine on Vinted. So the customer pays postage, and we pay no fees. Also on Vinted was a sea salt, which I've already got here because I didn't even get a chance to put it away. It's the middle one. It's a sea salt set men's curator shirt large uh, 100% linen that sold for 20 pounds on vintage cost five pounds listed within, uh, sold within 24 hours actually sold within 12 um we sold we've got a depop sale two ah. depop sales actually we've got hush snoopy ah. This is why it takes so long to do anything because there's always things going on <laughs> right we have sold on depop some hush pajamas they are called live woodland animal cotton flannel pajamas do you reckon they're in bottoms or tops? they're bottoms i can see them they're uh, left corner yep white and great no not those but in that corner oh, i remember those um, well i said i remember in the whole video saying people really buy used pajamas I got them from a charity shop. They cost a pound. They sold for nineteen pounds. Good, nice. And then also on Depop, we've sold the Paul Smith shirt. So P, it's the Paul Smith Bayard shirt. Just in case I wasn't sure how to spell Paul. Yeah, it's Paul Smith something. What, what colour? Bayard shirt. It's black and white check. Go away. These wasps are really friendly ones. Uh, this cost three pounds from a charity shop and it's been listed since April. Did I say how much it sold for? I don't know. If I did, 
I'll say it again, sorry, $29.99. And now to eBay, good old eBay. Um, we have sold a Celestant Prime Hammer of Sigma new... <laughs> it's gone, it's new gone. New wall hammer, I thought it was going to go in my mouth. Yeah. I finally got around to listen, it's had three Warhammer items from an auction bundle, probably around about uh, 18 months, I reckon. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, I've had these four. Uh, finally listed them. This was the cheapest one to go. Don't know the cost price. It was that long ago. You put five pounds. Uh, probably about five pounds. That would have been my guess when I listed them. Uh, what does it sell for? Thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Well done. We've also got a top watched item. Ooh, Ooh little mistress shift dress size eight. So that's palette item. Oh, is it? It's oh. navy blue. That is all we've got. Ooh, there it is. That cost one ninety six in February and sold for three thirty nine plus post. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then we, we were going to say that's the car boot, weren't we? But because it was in top watch, we we kept yeah. It. Then we've got a Hugo Boss um, orange shirt, but not in orange. It's just Hugo Boss orange label. So H, it's a white and blue vertical stripe. Oh, I know. This one. Because it's uh, oh, or is it? Ooh. Hang on, well, because we because we had the other one because we found two, didn't we? Yeah, it's not that one. What? Um, well, isn't that the one we've taken in? Yes, it's the one that's inside. That's weird. I'm going to grab it. So, so I'll put this. I'll put this in. Yeah, I'll replace that, but you need to check because that's yeah. really weird. Off he dashes, dashing to get the Hugo Boss. Here he comes, dashing back like the speed of light. So Hugo Boss orange shirt XXL white with like an orange yeah, stripe it. running down. It. Yeah, that cost two pounds, and that sold for twenty two ninety nine. Then we've got a Kettlewell top in K for Kettlewell. It's like a sky blue plane. No. Kettlewell, something being a faux wrap top. Oh, okay, yeah. Cost three ninety nine, sold for fifteen ninety nine. Listed since May. Oops. I feel like I listed that like last week. <laughs> then we've got the Alesis kick pedal for drum kit. Oh, yeah. That's either in home or electrical. Home. There it is. Yeah. Nice one. That cost five pounds. Sold for thirty six ninety nine plus post. Nice pick up. I always, I always knew this was a good one. Whatever. <laughs> then we've got not a great pick up. The real seal Scotch whiskey jug. Beige Charles mm. Wells Bedford. Yeah. One of those things where. You look at it and think, oh, that's unique, or, you know, oh, there's no, none for sale. And there's a reason for that. Because oh, nobody wants it. Oh, yeah, that sold, that cost four ninety nine. sold for four twenty one plus place. <laughs> Listed since December, hence why we've just got it shifted. Yeah. Next up is an item that hasn't even been put away yet because it's sold so quickly. It's that blue. Joe Brown's midi dress plus size 24. Got that last week, paid four pounds for that in a charity shop, sold for 21.46. That was on, um, we had a coupon. Did we have a coupon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so that's good. And then we've got a musto rugby shirt women, so Ooh. M for musto. I sent an offer on this, as, I think it was this morning. What? Well, it sold, the, it sold on the 29th of July, today's the 1st of August. So that's magic. Maybe it wasn't this morning, maybe it's like your. Kettlewell top, maybe it was yeah. like a few days ago. It's isn't it? pink and stripy. Beautiful. That cost six pound fifty. Sold for fifteen twelve. Had that since March. Hence why it's gone a bit cheaper than we would have liked. Then we've got another item that we haven't put away yet because it's only just been lifted. It's a Kin needle cord utility dress, size sixteen. Very oversized. It mm. is massive. Mm. I've washed that three times. Uh, that cost £8 and sold for £42.99. 
And then we've got working style nursing tunic. Oh, drop something again. Oh. Uh, work. Lifestyle. Work in It's palette. Palette. Navy blue, two nursing tunics. Okay. Probably, probably sold them at the car boot. We didn't sell them at the car boot, but stuff did go. But I thought we checked this. We talked about this the other day, didn't we? And we said, oh yeah, they'll still be here. Are you sure it's pallet item? Yeah. Or well, should we look in W for working style? They're going to be in with the car boot, but that's okay because they're in the only things that are in bags. Is it them? Could well be. Can you imagine? Female healthcare worker. What else does it say? Trousers UK black. What else does it say? UK black? UK what? Eight. Female healthcare worker trousers UK eight black. Yeah, you didn't say. You said UK black. Was this them? No. <laughs> Have we got anything else? Yes, we've got. Yeah, we? yeah, we've got a TU skater dress, which is over here. That was a palette item. That sold £4.24 plus post and, and it cost two seventy eight. This was destined for the car boot, but we'd already bundled everything up into the tubs, didn't we? And then it, yeah. before we delisted stuff, so if I had to grab this as she was unpacking out the car boot. Yes, so we've just got to find this car boot item. So would you like to hold the camera and I look? Shall I stop filming? Yeah. Working style nursing tunic, UK 16. Well Thought we found them. That's it, there's another one in there. What is it, two that sold? Yeah. All's well that ends well. Ta da! Yeah, so we we work quite hard to avoid that, so I'm not quite sure how that's happened. We were just a bit fraught. Obviously. We've got the Hugo Boss swim shorts medium, so they're in bottoms. Not being bought in, is it? Uh, no, I must have put them away. Bottom. Should be on the top. Don't listed less than 24 hours. Top of the bottom. Yeah. Mm, this is a bit strong. So what, what is that on there you put up there? Oh, that's them. Right, that's what I meant a minute ago. Oh, sorry, I forgot I put them there. Um, they were two ninety nine. I took an offer for twenty pounds. They sold in less than twenty four hours. Got them from a charity shop. And then we have got the TG Green Gresley Repton jars. Four of them. They're in a box. Sound like them? Does it? Yeah. TG Green. Yeah. Grizzly, grizzly. They were £12.50 and bought those in May when we get, went to get our Eurovision picnic stuff. Remember? Uh, oh yeah, yes. And they sold for £65.99. They, they sent you an offer of like 40 Yeah. saying like, please. Yeah. And then you counted at 65 dollars And they declined it or ignored it and then they just bought them. I think they then sent another offer and I counted back again at 65.99 and they sent me an offer of 65.99 saying yeah okay I'll take your offer. <laughs> so nice nice one and then an ingenue or ingenue ingenue dress size 10. So dresses. Oh dresses. <clears throat> it's black and green, pink and floral. Oh is that it down there? Yeah, that cost. Does that say? Yeah, that cost six pound fifty, and it's listed this like listed in July. It sold first of August for twenty one ninety nine. Got Ted Baker, so tops T for Ted. T for Ted. Yeah, it's a long sleeve uh, Ted Baker polo shirt, size three, medium, long sleeve navy. Andy. Yes. That sold on Vinted. That cost three pounds. I took an offer on Vinted last night for twelve pounds. Obviously, that's twelve pound in our pocket because they pay for posts and there's Yay. no fees. Woohoo! Cool. So then we have a Def Leopard T-shirt on through the night, size medium. On, so no, Def D E F yeah, yeah. D. D E F. Well, it's just because you said on through the night. Yeah, and oh, we. <laughs> 
well done that cost four pounds sold for 15.49 we have some vintage coat hangers oh nice I sent an offer on these they're like 12, 11 or 12 pounds 14.99 ah, i sent an offer on these this morning but uh, obviously didn't tell him. one set. Yeah, that's correct. They cost £1.33, sold for £14.99. Yeah, we've got Hasbro Taboo. Oh, that is upstairs. So just point. Yeah, that cost £1.50, took an offer of £5, and that's plus post. And then finally, Gudrun Jordan trousers. They are size small, pink corduroy, stretch, wide leg. That's them on the top. Oh yes, yeah, so it is. They cost a pound and they sell for 23 99 and they're going to America via GSP and they've been listed less than a week. Nice. Great, great on that pound. A pound. They were bound on the pound rail in Oxfam. Just wanted to share a quick sale with you. I know my t-shirt's really creased. I was just about to change, um, but I've got to get this packed up because I'm going out very shortly and I wanted to show you. So pick this up in an auction. Uh, very worth looking out for. It's a Phonak. Um, it's a pair of hearing aids. This is a uh, Audio uh, R90, I think they're called. Um, yes. And if you can, find these were fully working um, I mean they, they sell for brand new for over a thousand uh, unfortunately the left uh, aid I couldn't pair it at first at all um, but the right aid works fully pairs to Bluetooth and then I was just charging it so I just sold it and I thought I'll just check it and I managed to pair the left earphone but I still couldn't get any sound out of it but I was like oh um, I had a chance to cancel the order because the customer said, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to Sri Lanka on, uh, on Sunday, but it says uh, it won't be delivered till Monday. So I was desperately see, seeing if I could get it to work fully because if, it, if I could, um, it's six, seven hundred pound sale. Um, but I couldn't, so I've got to get it packed and sent. It sold for 300 plus um, post. Uh, I was going with UPS, the extra insurance on that, and I've got to get it out now. Uh, but yeah, sorry about the presentation. I just uh, just really wanted to let you know. Um, yeah, it was quite a good little bundle. There was a few extra cases. Comes with a charger. There's these extra cases. It's got all the cleaning kit as well uh, in here. Uh, so yeah, happy, happy with that one. 300 plus post. We were just we were just out and about. I was getting my hair cut, and Faye went round the charity shops, and yeah, I got one thing. Didn't go in all the charity shops. Just thought just went in a few. So do you want to show you one thing? I would love to. As soon as you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I got a two ninety nine Bleak House DVD. Duff duff. These were from Oxfam, and their prices compared to what we're sort of used to seeing from this Oxfam. It's one of those Oxfam bookshops where they they kind of do their research, don't they? Sometimes. Uh, so yeah, that was two ninety nine. It's brand new and sealed. Currently for sale on um, Amazon FBA for thirteen twenty two. Mm, and everything else that we're about to show you, I got so Simon can scan. And uh, not many DVDs, so just uh, just Bear be patient. Us. Yeah. The Muppet Show season one that is for sale for ten ninety nine. What did you pay? Two ninety nine. This is Gluck. I oh, know. Lena's here. Yeah, she just popped up. Now uh, this one's not coming up with the right uh, thing, uh, but it's one forty nine. Some opera DVD. Then we've got John Wayne in the Searchers. The Searchers. That is 986. I'm not clicking through, so 986 is the low price uh, in the buy box. So we don't. I'm not clicking through, so I don't know whether it's uh, FBA or not. So if it's if those prices aren't FBA, we get a little bit more. And that was 199 as well. And this one is for sale for 15.93. Another opera one. 199. And this one, Love Actually, Bridget Jones Diary, and Notting Hill. Uh, poor rank, really poor rank. Hundred five thousand twenty one forty nine. Thought we could go cheaper though, because it was one pound fifty. And people love some of those films at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. 
Stephen King, Misery, The Dark Half and Carrie, DVD collector's set, that was two ninety nine. It's brand new and sealed, but there is a bit of damage on the front, as you might be able to see here. 13.77 new, or it's from 184 new, so that one might be a little bit problematic. That could have happened in our shopping bag, yeah, because we were moving things around. Mm. And then the last DVD is Flight of the Concords, and this cost £2.979. So just bread and butter ones there, really. Yeah. Um, I also picked up a couple of books. This one, Charcuterie. Charcuterie, that's pretty... Uh, right, so when you scan it, it always comes up with the, um, like the, I think, Kindle edition as yeah. well. Uh, so if you can find it on Kindle, it's new from 52, used from 1616. There's another listing which has got no rank, uh, maybe it's paperback or something, I'd need to look into it. And that's used from 34. Uh, so I think it's probably sixteen pounds sixty. Yeah, it is. That's what I looked at. It cost three ninety nine. And then one more book, the development evaluation. And this was five ninety nine. Thirty two pounds fourteen. So they were the books I picked up. One board game, which is brand new and sealed, but it has got some damage to the cellophane, so it'll have to be uh, used like new, something new like used. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so 11.10, cheapest used, 42 new. So because it's sealed but has got a rip, I'm hoping we can go like 29.99 or something. Yeah, there's a lot of, the problem is you got, there's a lot of used sellers. So people have got to scroll like quite the way down the list, they'll have to, to find us with the used like new. So, However, but, what time of year is approaching? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. message of my madness for five pounds. Yeah. It's the Bet You Know It Trivial Pursuit as well. Yeah. Um, I also picked up um, a couple of like folk art fishes. So this is uh, German or Danish? What are we looking at there? Well, GmbH, that's... German. Yeah. Um, this folk art painted wooden fish. And I also picked up this one. Now this, I think, is Russian. Um, not sure. Uh, both sort of seem quite vintage. I've had this pattern on numerous items before, um, so I'm quite confident that they'll sell because they're an interesting decor piece, interesting pattern. And then I also got two of these. Now I was paying in this shop and I didn't pick them up and I was sort of looking at my phone while I was paying and thought, oh, should I have got them? So they were five pound each. They are anthropology um, mugs and they say dog person on the handle. And someone sold one for 25 pounds used. So I got two and I'm gonna sell them. I'm gonna list them for maybe 49.99. See how it goes. What together? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Cause they're, they're very nice. Mm. And it was from the dog's trust shop as well. Mm. And then I've got some clothes. Would you like to? Yeah. Oh, she's gone. Lena's jumped off, so we can use her chair. <laughs> right, first up, I've got this dress. Now, the label has been cut out, as has the size label. However, from what remains of this label, oh, I'm 99.99% yeah. sure that it's Joe Brown's. Yeah, it's. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put it on the mannequin, take a picture and then put it into Google um, Lens on my phone and see if it brings up the design, which um, it often does. So yeah, it's a really nice dress. It doesn't even feel like it's been worn. And that was £6. I also picked up this t-shirt. The brand uh, was something I had to look up. I wasn't familiar. It's Orwell and Austin. It's a medium and that cost £6.50. And they, their t-shirts sell well, but I can't remember how well. I uh, just picked up a sweaty Betty sort of vest dress. Nothing fancy. Might have overpaid at eight pound, but we will see. And then I haven't picked up mint velvet for ages because it's just been rubbish for us, but I always seem to do quite well with jeans and haven't found jeans for ages. These were seven pound 50 and they're a size 10 and they've got like this stripe down the side. Another stripey number. This one, I think Cecil, yeah. It's size 16, cost 5.99, and oh, it's just a Breton. Um, but it's called Sailor Top, because it says it on the label. There we go. 
sea salt. And then I've got an abundance of the same brand over and over again in a moment. Uh, I just got some free clothing, brand new with tags, chinos. Price on these is £65. I paid £6.50 and they're a size 8. Next up, we have a women's Rohan for £6.99. And this is a size 16 and it's called, just like sea salt, they have the names on the tags. It's called Shimmer Short Sleeve Shirt. It's got a little shimmery thread through it. Another Rohan shirt. This is large, this is men's. And it says medium on the, ta on the paper tag that the charity shop put on, but it's a large. And it's called, oh, they've cut it. It's cut. Oh no, but it's sun protective, so that's helpful. But it's got find it, yeah, maybe. I'll just look on the Rohan website. Then we've got another Rohan shirt. <laughs> Men's. This one's quite big. This is a seventeen and a half inch. And this one has it been cut out? We shall see. No, it's the Globe Trotter long sleeve shirt. Which we've sold sold Globe Trotter shirts before. Yeah, definitely, definitely it rings a bell. And then the last bit of clothing is another Rohan shirt, extra large, six ninety nine. And this one is has been cut out as well. Um, why do they do that? So strange. It is strange. Anyway, we know the size is extra large, so that's good. So maybe it's another globe trotter. Who knows? Um, so yeah, that concludes our little mini haul from just popping out on Friday. Well, what was your favourite pickup? My favourite pickup. Mm, there's a lot of bread and butter items here. Maybe the mugs, I think. Oh. Yeah, the, the anthropology dog mug. My favourite pickup was my Bleak House DVD. Because it's the only thing you've got. So now we're going to review our eBay top watched items. So this is where we talk about our nine most top watched products on eBay and let you know what has sold. And in a video which was quite some time ago now, uh, we showed you our current nine. First thing to sell was the Kim & Co vest top that sold for 15.99 and in our video we asked you to take a guess in the comments as to which one would sell first thanks ever so much for all your comments really really appreciated and two people got this one right that was monique hanford and pat collins so well done to you uh, two other things have sold from the top watch as well we have the anoki for east shirt that sold for 13 pounds 78 and we also have the John Lewis double duvet cover that sold for £26.24. Out of the rest of it, it's unsold. One item went to car boot, which was the Shein skater dress, which had been in our top watch, I think, since we started doing it. Did anyone buy it at the car boot, though? Because we just... It's probably, it's probably still there. We, like, obviously, we bought stuff back that didn't sell, but we didn't route through it, so it's all in tubs ready for the next one that we do, so who knows? <laughs> uh, so for this week, our new top watched items, so we're going to show you nine, we're going to tell you how many views they've had in the last 30 days, how many watches, and also what price they are. Uh, so at number nine, which was in the last one, there's a pretty lavish dress size eight. Uh, you think so, it's pretty lavish? Yeah, it's pretty lavish. Uh, leopard print. And that is still for sale for 4 49 plus post. It's had eight views in the last 30 days and five watches. It's been listed since March this year. It was a palette item. Next up in position eight, we have the Vintage Metal Brass Bell. Uh, got that in June, paid up for that, paid 12 pounds. It's had 37 views in the last 30 days and it's got five watches. So come on, someone needs to buy it. It's currently for sale at 40 pounds and 49p plus post. At number seven is a Tom Crom t-shirt. It's grey, double XL, and lightweight. Ooh, plus some other amazing features. It's been listed only a little while, since July 22. It's had 51 views in the last 30 days, and it's got five watches, and it's for sale for 22.49. So that was number seven, the Tom Crom t-shirt. 
In position six, we have a sea salt wild bluster tunic dress, size 20. Uh, listed this in July, it cost eight pound. It's had 59 views in the last 30 days. It's got five watches and it's currently for sale at 26.99, which I think is a bargain. Uh, so that is position six. At number five is the Walt Disney Classics mug. This was also in the last video. It's still in our top watch. It's had 18 views in the last 30 days. It's got six watches. It's for sale for only $8.99 plus post and it's been listed since May 22. So that is position five, the Walt Disney Classics mug. In position four, we've got another item that was in the last uh, top watch. It's the And Other Stories trousers, size 10. They've been listed since March and they were a palette item as well. In the last 30 days, they've had 16 views, they've got six watches and they're currently for sale at £13.49. And that is position four. In number three, it's a new entry. Mm. It's a Warhammer Necromunda Orlocks, metal, unpainted, Citadel miniatures, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's had 104 views in the last 30 days. It's got seven watches. It's for sale for 44.99, and it's been listed since July. I've had it for probably two years, maybe 18 months to two years. Uh, so that is number three, the Warhammer figures. In number two, we have a new entry. It's the Gantt Yale Co-op Handloom Madrasha in large. Uh, that has been listed uh, just a few weeks, August 22. It costs 7 49 We've had 111 views in the last 30 days and we've got seven watches. It's for sale at 29 69 and that is position two. And our most top watched item, which also appeared in our last video, um, is the Carhartt denim jacket. Uh, I think we probably expected this to have sold by now. We listed it at $69.99. It's now down to $44.99. It's got nine watches. It's had 62 views in the last 30 days. Uh, and as I think I said, it's been listed only since July 22. So that is the Carhartt denim jacket in position one. So now please put your guess in the comments, which one is gonna sell first, one to nine. Uh, you'll see the review on the screen right now. Uh, so please pop in the comments. And while you're doing that, please give the video a like. Why not? While you're down there. So, <laughs> <laughs> so pop your comment in now, which one will sell first, and we will reveal it all in the next video. What's your favourite part of our videos? Uh, messages. <laughs> Got a few here to rattle through for you. Do you want to go first? Yes. Uh, the first one was a question that came up on Vinted. Uh, it was for some hotter shoes and they were a red colour. And the message says, hi, a weird question, but are these a cool or warm red? Thank you. And I put, mm, not weird, just hard to answer. They're not bright red, but they're not dark red either. <laughs> she wrote, sorry, sort of laughing, crying face. Are they a true representation on the photos? And I put everyone's screen setting, um, everyone's screen settings as colour tone acceptance is different. What? Oh, everyone's screen settings and colour tone acceptance is different. So I can't say 100% yes, but they're not far off when looking at my screen. You want to sort your messages out, don't you? That's I know, shocking. that is shocking. Then she put a pinky red or orangey red. And I thought, hang on a minute, is this someone having a laugh? Um, because, I mean, it was a bit full on. And I put neither. And she put, thank you, I didn't think of that. I guess in response to my question about like, people's perception of colour on their screen. I mean, what about brownie reds, purpley reds? It was just, I was lying on the sun lounger in the garden, just trying to mind my own business. <laughs> and I'm thinking, is someone taking a mickey? <laughs> and then not long after that, that item sold on eBay, didn't it? Full price, a lot more money to someone completely different. So I spend a bit of time in some of the Facebook groups, like the reselling Facebook groups. At the start of the sort of summer holidays, a lot of people kind of want delivery delayed because they're going, they're buying something and then they go on holiday and then they're messaging sellers saying, can you like, can I have it in four weeks time or whatever? And there's a lot of sellers that are always kind of saying, what should I do about that? And we have a really, really kind of simple response because, you know, we need items to be getting shipped immediately we need items to be getting delivered within within time so i actually someone had on the, on a facebook group had asked the question and i'd say it doesn't happen to us often but tell them that you'll need to ship within time or cancel the order 
um, with their permission. And then lo and behold, on the same day, we get two messages. So the first one, please dispatch to arrive week commencing 1st of August. And this was something like in, I can't even remember the date, it must have been the middle of July. And so my, but the standard response was, thanks for your message. I'm afraid I can't delay dispatch. The item will need to show shipped and delivered within the estimated time scales. And this is kind of the important part. Please confirm that I can either ship to schedule, if not, I can cancel the order and you can reorder when ready. And then another one came in. Can you please delay posting until the 3rd of August? Thank you. And one, one little tip really, when you're sort of sending messages that say, you know, I've got to ship it on time. Um, what I always do is say, please confirm if however you're happy for me to cancel, you can ignore this message. And then that is enough for me to say, if I don't get a response, then I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. So it sort of covers you, because if they ghost you after that, then you can just say, look, you know, I, I, I said ignore the message if it's okay to cancel. I don't wanna be, you know, we don't wanna be messing around with things like that. No. Next is another eBay question. Um, Hi, we have opened the box to find there are two cards missing. It says it is a 71 card game and there are only 69 inside. So this is a board, this is a board game. Can you remember what the board game was? No. Mm. Uh, many thanks for your message and we are very sorry you've needed to make contact. Please open a return from your order page and we'll get that fully refunded as soon as received back here. Many thanks. And then they replied, would you be willing to offer a discount over a return? Ooh. And so we replied with, hi, many thanks for your reply. I'm sorry that only 69 cards were counted. I'm not sure what discount you're looking for as proportionally it's very little, 14p a card or something like that. I'm happy to take the return if it's easier. I've said in videos many times before, we don't do partial refunds. Um, if someone is trying it on, they'll kind of go away. And if they are really insistent, then they can send it back for a refund. And this instance, never heard anything after that. What a surprise. Next is another eBay one. Hi, I'm really interested in purchasing this. I had one before that broke and when it did, it broke my heart. I'm so glad to have found it. I live in Ireland and I'm just wondering how much can you guarantee it won't break in transit? Do you bubble wrap, etc.? Thank you. So the thing about this question is, as I highlighted on the message, it's from a zero feedback buyer. Not really, usually too much of a problem, you know, everyone starts somewhere, but when they're asking if you can guarantee that something's not gonna break, you know, how can you possibly do that? And if you say yes to that, if you say, yeah, yeah, go ahead, no problem. You know, they've got you over a barrel, haven't mm, they? If, yeah. You know, um, so therefore, uh, we said that we couldn't guarantee that it wouldn't break and you know, it's going overseas as well. Yeah, once it's left our hands, like we'll do everything we can, but it's not our responsibility. Yeah. If, it, if it falls off the truck and it gets run over, it doesn't matter how well you package something, it's gonna break. Yeah. So there are never any guarantees. You can't ever guarantee delivery. You can't guarantee anything. The ferry to Ireland sinks with our parcel on it and it's all your fault if it does. Yeah, exactly, it would be, it would be. You guaranteed it. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I'll, I'll do this one. So another eBay one, this was uh, some help. Uh, so we had uh, some Denby crockery listed. Now um, it was a blue color. Some Denby uh, cups and plates, etc., have the name of the design on the bottom next to the um, Denby brand logo, uh, but they don't, most of them don't. Uh, so you have to kind of go looking to find what the pattern name is. And there's lots of helpful resources online, uh, but sometimes when it's shades of blue, it can be quite difficult. So I'd listed something um, as a particular uh, um, design and someone messaged and said, are you sure? I know angles can be deceptive, but this looks like Boston to me. Imperial is ice white inside. So I'd listed it as Imperial, Imperial pattern, and this person saying it's Boston. And when I went and did some more research, this person was absolutely correct, and I changed the listing, and I think one sold. If you're watching, and if it was you that sent that message through, Thank thanks you. so much. Yes. This is a curious one. <laughs> uh, this is the new, new face, facial. Oh, uh, the facial tone, facially thing, yeah. yeah. Um, and, when I listed it, well, I think I'd done a price change actually, um, and I somehow managed to list it for £14,999. Uh, but someone was obviously just perusing our our shop because 
if this had been a customer looking for this item, I don't think they'd, they'd have suggested that it should be $14.99 because this item uh, is over a hundred pound item and I think it's sold for a hundred and something, 20 mm. maybe pounds. Yeah. 123, I think. Okay. Um, so yeah, if that was again, if that was someone watching the video, thanks for your concern. Uh, we do appreciate it and we did change it to 14999. Uh, this message, I mean, this is incredible. Uh, we sold the Absolute Trousers, which were my kilo sale. The Absolute. Absolute. What did I say? Absolute. You sure? Yeah. I don't usually pronounce my T's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so we sold the trousers and then I noticed with the order, with the message, please ensure freshly washed and send ASAP. So we listed these in something like, I think, May. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they were, we didn't wash them. No. Um, but I would been, have done if they needed it. Yeah. But we'd been, <laughs> been listed since May. How can, as a buyer, you... I mean, it was next, it's next day shipping. Very difficult to get that in the wash, dried, and shipped on time. Yeah. Very strange. And then I started looking at this buyer. And the mind boggles. So this on your screen now is all of the feedback they've left for other sellers. And you'll notice, <laughs> worn and musty, musty smelling, bit musty, musty smell, musty smelling, musty, musty, musty. I mean, this poor seller, I'm really sorry that you feel this way. Uh, you asked for them to be washed and fresh, and that's what you got. Oh, so they ask everyone. Yeah, they, they literally would put that message with every sale. Uh, it's quite incredible. And also, uh, what I noticed, I mean, so this, this, this was another feedback on a different subject from the same uh, customer. So they, the item used was a kimchi floaty dress large. Only reason I put neutral is because I cannot pull open a plastic envelope due to de dexterity issues. I used a small pair of scissors to cut open the top and the dress was not bubble wrapped or similar and the dress was cut and therefore useless. And the postage was nearly five pounds so I'd have expected better packaging to protect the item. It's a postage cost, not packaging cost. Um, and then they also then complained because someone had put, <laughs> put an item in a box. So they don't like things in bags, and they also don't like things in box. So this someone sent some rolls in a box, and the box is oversized. I mean, it's just incredible. So, um, what I thought about this <laughs> uh, was I, I made a little video, which I'll show in just a second. And so when it came to packing the item, um, basically I built a box with a false end, with do not open on one side and open this side. <laughs> the other side and I also sprayed a piece of kitchen towel with disinfectant or Dettol or something. Dettol, and, nice smelling spray. And hid that under the flaps in the box. That is what I did. Um, and guess what? We got positive feedback mm -hmm. and it didn't say that it smelt musty or that there was an issue with the packaging. Uh, so, you know, it just shows when you go that extra mile, <laughs> like we always do, <laughs> Uh, it can really pay off. We're going to show you some other bits that have sold and shall I go first? Mm. Okay, the first thing, um, a great sale, were the Rohan Airlite bag shorts. Uh, they are men's. Uh, they cost £4 and they sold for £24.99. Next up was a Pentax KM Digital SLR. I ummed and ahed about this. It was in, I talked about it in a recent haul video. It was £35. It came with an extra lens. Uh, anyway, I got it and I tested it and all was good and it sold for £92.95, so pleased with that one. Didn't take long to sell either, did it? No. A couple of weeks. Well done. Uh, next up, some Rebel Marie trousers, size 16. I picked these up from a tiny little charity shop in the back of a church that Sonia told me about, so thanks Sonia. Uh, they cost £3.50, got them in July, and they sold for £19.19 .19 on offer or coupon or something. Okay, this one is their Per Lutkin Home Guard paperweight. Uh, didn't have it listed for long, literally a week maybe. It was one of the auction paperweights, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was in the video that we've done. Uh, cost £3 and sold for £25. Very nice. 
Thanks. I'll do this one as well. It's The Craft of the Crochet Hook. Um, it's a book, a very old book from 1920 uh, by Flora Clickman. And uh, it was a beautiful book all about crochet and that didn't cost me a penny. I sold that for £19.87. Our next up was a steeple tone um, GSM phone. It's like an internet phone. So it's a big button phone where you don't need like a landline. Uh, you just use a, what's it called, a SIM card. Um, so this one was three ninety nine, and it sold for twenty two forty nine. Sold really quick. It sold in the same month you listed it. Next up, some crochet hooks and yarn. This was in a big bundle that someone just gave to me, um, and this sold for nine ninety nine plus post. So a total of thirteen pound seventy four. It's just a job lot. I didn't know anything about it. Should I do this one as yeah. well? <laughs> it's a Kin John Lewis smock dress, size eighteen. Um, this cost five pounds and it sold for £29.74 and I must have washed this thing about four or five times to get it perfect. Um, so really pleased that um, it hasn't been returned. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already hit the like on the video and you liked it, uh, please could you go down and do that now, it doesn't take a second. It really shows us that we should keep making the videos, uh, we get lots of lovely messages to keep making the videos and that is the one thing that will ensure that we keep going because the more likes we get on the video, uh, the higher the video will get pushed, the more views it will get and the more that spurs us on to make more. So thanks very much if you've already done it and if you haven't, what are you waiting for? If you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, please pop down and subscribe too. Hit the notification bell and you'll get all the latest videos straight to you. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye, Bye for now.